Hello. Hope everybody's doing well today. Also, I just noticed my mic is completely off my mic. What the fuck is this? It's alright. There we go. Hopefully that's good. Um. Hope everybody's doing well today. Doing some more uh, Ace Attorney today. Uh, because I figured, you know what? It's good. I I've been enjoying it, and I've I've just kind of in the mood for puzzles. I don't know why, just puzzles. Anyways, I'm just gonna be eating a cookie while I'm while I'm doing this. So enjoy the noise, I guess, because I guess nobody's around right now. Thank you for the hydrate. How's it going, General? I'm doing all right. Did my alert go off on, on Discord? I guess it usually doesn't go off for another 50 minutes. So I guess where we left off is that we got evidence to help a guy, and I guess it was a pitcher. All right. The court is now in the session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Cameron in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. Wait. What was the note for? That, that if you were having a good day? What's what? Oh, I don't I don't know what the note was for. My my my, my brain just kind of fucked off. Sorry, General. Is it possible for anyone else to have committed the same crime? For the score alert? Oh, okay. Uh, let me. Uh, Oh, and it fucking, as soon as I, I start typing, it's turned to fucking stream cord. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm. Yeah, it just went off. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call it most familiar face Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Detective, if you could briefly describe this case to the court. Watch me rip this thing apart. Yes, sir, I'll explain the, with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? Here's the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate. Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there was only three people here. The victim, who looks like he <laughs> shit in someone's cereal, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant, Penny. I think it was. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Cameron, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got uh, got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff uh, came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Time of death was 2.30 p.m. Samurai spear was lodged on the victim's chest as a murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Should I listen to that whole thing again? No. Objection! Hey, Rose, how's it going? What are you, what, what is everybody but up to today? So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Your Honor? This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, 
What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. There's been in my room playing games. What kind of games? Will the witness declare her name? Oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Why aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Mostly shooters, kind of? Like, what kind of shooters? Like, Valorant? Ah, okay, I see. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. <laughs> Found Edgeworth's kryptonite, I guess. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting the, his witnesses to say their name. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna eat a cookie while she's bothering. Sorry, hold on. Sorry, I thought she was going to go on for a bit longer than that. Objection, I object to the witness's ta talkativeness. For once, I agree with that. Word. <laughs> Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. <laughs> I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he yeah, was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. Edgeworth is actually really likable in the later games. I hope so. I like, uh, he, he seems like a, he would be a decent character if he changes his attitude about shit. Like a, like a villain with like a redemption art kind of thing. I, I always hope for that kind of thing. I do think some villains work really well with redemption arcs. Witnesses account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I well, I had some errands to run that morning. Portal was 14 years ago, let that sink in, yeah. Anyways, 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. <laughs> I'll have to sink in what is it I'll want this time, yeah. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Oh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, I think I know exactly where I'm going to drill this. Actually, I'm curious. How, why'd she get there that late? Anyone who wanted to go could get to the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, Yuri. You need an employee card key to get in. Right, the card key I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to uh, be there could get in. Wasn't there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Roll the hammer and had been resting and didn't run through since the morning. I already know that. Had some errands to run that morning. One o'clock when I got to the guard station. Mine till five. So you're watching there the whole time. No breaks, not even a second. Of course, I'm a professional, you know. Are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? Oh! So bitches. <laughs> That's a, that was really funny in that voice. How's it going, Spix? Welcome back. Keep in mind I'm not paying you for shirking off your duties for a week. <laughs> 41 on the queue, fuck me. I'm sorry, I don't know how to clear it. You, you keep going on, it's like, oh, I'm clearing it. Can we demote Allie for being a stinky mod? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> No, it's just after seeing you eat those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the guy and eat donuts at the same time. Whipper snapper. Oh, snipper whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. I 
I'm alert because Twitch is ass today. Okie doke. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness is only on duty through the afternoon for the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Well, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by right, right by me at 2 p.m. 2 o'clock? You sure? Old bag. <laughs> Hello. Sure spit. Well, who was the man? Really? You should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. <laughs> no, no, don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers. That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. BRB saying go and clear the fucking queue. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny. I think this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. Uh, Take this, you old bitch. Oh. It's not Ace Attorney if he doesn't slam his hands on the desk 15 times. <laughs> Let me get this straight, Miss uh, Old Bag, or Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Deal Samurai, defender of near old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? No, they can't. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't die, Sphix. Um, well, I mean, I wonder... True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Mr. Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. <laughs> six months? Was it six months? Man. I appreciate it, though. I, I really do appreciate it, Sphix. I, I, I appreciate everybody's support, and, like, anything helps, you know? However, you do not have proof that the person in the photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Humph, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. Oh boy. Phoenix, you try calling someone old bag sounding professional. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. Your execution would like to ask the old the, the witness. <laughs> Please make it known all the information in your position ahead of time. How was I supposed to know everyone beats nosy? that you should be ashamed, all of you? <laughs> Alright, while this is going on, I'm eating the last part of my cookie. <laughs> Kazoo has a little... <laughs> yeah, she... I... I don't see her killing her though killing him though. I at least don't see a motive yet. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old Winbeg has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof then. <laughs> Mode of doing your mom. <laughs> She's, she, I said she killed someone, not that she has, that she killed the victim in this case. Oh, you know, I, yeah, I could see that. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props when it was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see that he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? 
<laughs> she killed my will to... No. Yes, Baron Nate is... Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Alright, let's see where we're going. There's anything I don't mean. Uh, I saw powers trip and fall. That means she left her post. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> thank you. Oh, that tastes awful after eating a chocolate cookie. Oh. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. Man, it's nice to be hydrated, yeah. Did you not drink while you were away? I'll make it better for him, of course. You help make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. What? <laughs> Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Very little? Oh boy. Oh. So I felt like I Understandably so. Hopefully you're drinking lots more now. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. May I continue your testimony? Thankfully now I have my trusty bottle. Awesome. I will pee holy water. Oh, <laughs> uh, by the way, Sphix, you completely missed it. The last house flipper stream I did, I just said, fuck it. Everyone everyone has free DMCA rain. I don't care. And we had like a huge laugh. We even made the shrimp room. And basically a uh, crypto miner cr uh, quality uh, gaming rig. Broke one of the big props, it was a big mess. What did he break? Broke a prop? Sure did, his own samurai spear. He broke the murder weapon. Luckily I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where's the Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. I have to watch the VOD. I should... I think I posted it. No, I haven't posted that one to, to YouTube yet. And it's clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this is photo shows the Steel Samurai. In one of those photos, can we see Mr. Will Powers? The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Edgeworth is not trying to win this case, he's been paid already. Has... Really? Anyways, I'm glad Mr. Bleach Starfish is in jail now. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, to be honest. The one... The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before was Will, then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Ray, you may cross-examine the witness. He doesn't seem to be trying Wendy. Yeah, th that makes sense. I, I think he knows that the evidence is faulty. And he's trying to wait for, like, a, a, a decent, uh, like, opening to, like, to, like, strike, strike Phoenix down, you know? Kind of turn the evidence against. Time of poor hammers. Time for better Discord to crash because Discord says fuck you. I thought Discord recently did an update that, uh, like, buffed on, or got a massive buff on Linux. 
Then before Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The person I saw go to the studio but the before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sunny. Nobody's suspicious looking pass by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking, right. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? Before 1 p.m.? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Yeah, but they still hate Better Discord, last I checked. What is Better Discord, anyways? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio has to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, Edgy Boy. Edgy Boy? <laughs> Old Windbag sure has balls, or you know what I mean. Old Wind. Old one banks have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look toward to, perhaps. I can impress on this one, see what happens. Better Discord is an extension to Discord that adds themes and fonts and shit. Really? Can someone send me a link on Discord? I want to, I want to test it out. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about being a secret pal, he told me everything. See his detective gumshoes? Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... It has to be this one because it's the second photo. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. Oh. oh! Son of a bitch. Eddie, because apparently it breaches their TOS. Interesting. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Alright, anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. The very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed out the words October 5th, 2, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number 2. <laughs> Look at this photograph! <laughs> Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, from what I know of Better Discord, it's possible to see channels you aren't meant to access or have privileges for. Really? Huh. Even I know what... Even I know that means it was taken at uh, 2 p.m. on October the 15th, really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo that day. Don't you think that's odd? Should this photo be the photo number one if it was only the, f if it was the only photo? Oh, so how's it going, Sai? I know I just, I know, I know I just sat with you and in a VC, but like, how are you doing? I don't think it may, you actually read them. I was to see them, not read them. Oh, I see, okay. Order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence showed that there's not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yeah, there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. But I've seen better Discord also shows that someone has 
next to our name and shows the exact time, hour, minute, second in chat. Doing all right yesterday was kind of rough on me, but I'm doing all right today. If you need to talk about it, man, feel feel free to always like, like, talk about it in chat or my Discord or wherever. Whatever, whatever makes you feel better, dude. Also, thanks for the links, fix. But I'm I'm glad to hear you're doing like roughly all right. Yes, that would seem to mean. Can okay, the witness explain to this court? Um, ahem. I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Uh, edgy boy help. Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hum. Some help you are. You're whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I... I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Er, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Why don't I have a stream request? Stream these nuts. What's the stream request? Feel free, to, feel free to go. Your testimony, please. The other person. Learning Risk of Rain 2, I don't have the game. Maybe, but... Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out uh, one photo that day. I thought you shared a library with Moist. Yes, but oftentimes when I'm streaming, he's using uh, his Steam library anyways. So I I, I don't want to step on toes and say, hey, let, let, don't don't. I, I I do that quite a few times, but you know you know how it is with uh, like Steam. If if one person is using any game in the Steam library, it throws a shit fit that you can't use any of their any of the shared shit. But whatever, Miss Olbeck, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, let's say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. I don't share a library? Ah, oh, that makes... Yeah, that's understandable. Every day, after I finish my guardies, I have one other important job to do. I go through the... Uh... Why? How many photos are there usually? On a day when we're open to the public, we get more than 500 people. But on filming days or rehearsal days, well, we don't have much money. We never get more than 50, and that's a big day. Do you back up all of the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. I don't have a family to share with. Your family. Give me your games. <laughs> How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? I I probably should share because I have over 100 games, but I don't know. I mean, like, it's up to you. Uh, I'd only share with those I, like, legitimately trust, like family members or really close friends or SOs or whatever. This is a murder trail, Miss Oldbike. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will, Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the points. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. What was on the photo? Well, who the heck was in the photo that you erased? A fanboy. F fanboy? You trust your family? I do trust Moist. Yes. Lurk Fooch? Nice. Hope you have a good have a good meal, General. I do trust Moise. As much as uh, him and I rag on each other, we I, I do trust him quite much. Quite quite a lot. Steel Samurai fanboys. Real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. When was there that day? Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? 
I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in. That's nice. Yeah, and I and that's why I always feel kind of bad when there's, for example, like with use fix, like I always I always feel bad that <clears throat> that like other people can't quite have that same relationship, but I, I can't blame other people for it, you know. Like I know I know shit happens like with certain situations, but yeah, they come through the drain. I told you they were freaks. Oh, and and. They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids. So on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. Hmm. Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. Don't feel bad, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Yeah, I, I totally feel that. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. I feel that, man. I mean, that's, that's, why, that's one of the reasons why I set up this bonfire. If you're having, like, issues, you're more than welcome to... Be a part of this quote-unquote covenant. Yeah, you, you got us. Mr. Powers? Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. <sighs> Sorry. I was sleeping honest. So who has a steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. <coughs> but yeah, if and that's one of the one of the reasons why I wanted to make like a a very loose environment, I guess, if that makes sense, for the bonfire, because it's that way we're not judging each other, and I I have jurisdiction, and I've given my mod jurisdiction, and if anybody does come in and give you shit for your uh, I guess mental problems. I, I I think I worded that badly. Uh, they have jurisdiction to outright tell them to go fuck themselves and kick them out of here. That's that's why I think it's one of the better safe spaces. Final takes care of feral chat people. <laughs> Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really, what? You should really you should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So where does this leave me? Doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we gonna do? First we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that can conceivably have done this. And I'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't, say, you don't sound very optimistic. I love hammer and murder. <laughs> I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Oh, what the hell am I yawning so much for? Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing, oh, nothing has... I, okay, give me a second. I gotta fucking disable right-click again.
photo we do have m may not be hard evidence. But there's still no one else that could have committed the crime. Sometimes it's just funny banning people, yeah. Had someone come into his server like four times on obvious alts. The last at the end had no alt. <laughs> like, come on, fam, it's not that hard. Yeah, yeah. I call for a verdict the guilty for the uh, defendants of Mr. Will Powers. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. This here you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Fuck. Um... I definitely don't think it's a great school boy because they can easily just say, oh yeah, he's too short and can't wield all that stuff. I don't think it's going to be security lady because she's going to throw a shit fit. I'm thinking it might be the girl because... Oh, it's quote-unquote limping because she's not tall enough to wear the pants properly. I think. That and with, with her moving around props and whatnot all day, she'd be able to wield the spear. It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the steel samurai. So you're saying the steel samurai in the picture is really the assistant. That's correct, your honor. Fuck. Alright, I guess did I do wrong? If you're serious? You've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the steel samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Uh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury? Powers and poor hammer were at the run through. Oh, and me? What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up the backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers. Oh, so it would have had to be the security lady, because she did know. The assistant knew nothing about Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the steel samurai or look the steel samurai look with that costume. But she couldn't walk the steel samurai walk. She would have she wouldn't have limped. That kinda takes the legs off from under that case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I want. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> Maybe we move on, Mr. Wright. Uh this fight wasn't over yet. If you would your honor one more chance, please. Very well, go ahead. Who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have come to murder her? Security lady? Oh, the music stopped. It was the security lady, Windy Old Bag. Ooh. The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit know about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There's only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whippersnapper. Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. <laughs> Security lady clearly could have killed the dude or she's incompetent trying to waste your time. I feel like it might be the latter though. I just feel like this is too easy. If she was in costume, she could have pointed the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes 2, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to- Oh! He's- he's letting her go. 
Oh, that feels wrong. <laughs> Both is good. <laughs> oh, so y'all think I did it. Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to make this take this whole way. <laughs> Press further, give Granny a break. What do I do? I've unfortunately seen this game, so I know who did it and what for. Can't prove any meaningful commentary. No worries, no worries. If you if you just enjoy, enjoy watching, feel free to just watch. You don't have to chat. You can pipe in with like a joke or something, as Fix has been doing. Like, like last last <laughs> the join us in the cocker jokes. <laughs> um, I feel like if I press. Edgeworth is just gonna let it happen? I don't know. Yeah, I'll just be lurking. Okie doke. <coughs> Thank you for the lurk, though. What, what do I do here? If I give her a break, Edgeworth will probably claim that I... Like... <sighs> Honestly, Edgeworth ha also had no objections. Yeah. Go for the kill. Murder? Okay, let's let's do it. Originally you just want to buy time. Right, I do want to still buy time. The very same reasoning makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case. Can be used to cast doubt on Miss Old Bag's actions on that day. Who cares about Edgy Man? <laughs> but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one who's a photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy's not the killer. How can you be so sure? Or is it nice to the be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day? What <laughs> whipper snapper? I have proof. I have proof. Old bag. <laughs> let's see let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could have not committed this murder. Oh. He, the boy would need the card key. Seeing the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studio have a card key? <laughs> Why are you decking your old man? <laughs> Shit! That's who she murdered initially! Rose was right all along! <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I, I wanted to mention something while, now that I'm thinking about it. Next week, I know I just finished a run-through of it, but I'm going to be doing Wind Waker again next Monday. But with a... a certain somebody. I'm going to be doing a collab stream next week. I won't say just yet, but... Hopefully more 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 Wind Waker funny. Oh, the witness can to comment on this. <laughs> that was very long. She did kill somebody. Rose is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Phoenix Rose. <laughs> the windbag speechless. This has got to be a first. I wish this game had like mods and whatnot. That way you could just like insert images of like. Like, just, like, I don't know, for example, swap out Phoenix with me or somebody. And there you go, protagonist for the win. Also, now apparently dropping frames again. Like, imagine instead of a spiky hair backwards, a spiky hair upwards. And that's me. <laughs> the windbag speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. 
The court will suspend proceedings, uh, proceedings on the current trial for the day. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Uh, something old bag, Your Honor. Now the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Insert MLG Happy Feet Happy Feet Wombo Combo. Wait a second. I'm not going to sit here while you go run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> That's rather so done. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Yes, sweetie. I want to fuck Edgy Boy. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't do that without cracking a laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to hell. Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You know what Edgeworth told her not to talk? Well, testify. My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said that they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh. Holy fuck, I missed being here. I, we missed you too, Sphix. I hope you know that. <laughs> See, like Mr. White's bleached asshole. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> the Sphix was found dead in this home last night. Oh no. <laughs> Plot twist, final accusation. It was the judge. Uh, I like the judge so far. He he's been a, like a like a half decent mediator kind of like stupid character. I I I like him. If if anything bad happens to him, like one of the one of the next games, I'm gonna be upset. When his power of the old bag, <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Global Studios want me to keep quiet about something. So you were told not to talk. That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in all, we were all in on it. There were some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer for starters. Director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one talked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around uh, lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. Oh, it's the one to the left. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path of the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I can probably ask my questions, but... Oh, I remember the director. Oh no, is he a, is he a character? They said they had nothing to do with it. Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talked. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Mysterious want me to keep quiet about something. Them? 
Who were these people? Well, they're, they're... Victor was on the employer all morning for the run through. He joined the producer and had a lunchtime in the meeting. Where is Studio 2? Take a break? Your Honor, we have learned that there were two others at the Global Studios the day in the question. Time to have Sphix screaming in rage? Uh oh. <laughs> the director and the producer and er, some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more witnesses about the witness, Mr. Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Oh, he looks like he's gonna murder. I understand, Your Honor. The sense today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all this court has adjourned. Hell yeah! At uh, least we managed to get past this day. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Grin. Did she just say grin? Or should I sniff? <laughs> why is she sniffing Mr. What, what, why is she sniffing Will Powers? Man stink. <laughs> Gotta snip that man musk. <laughs> oh wait, no, she just she just needs it for her uh, mystical powers. We're going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been that old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be in the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points there with or without, without my accusation. Bonnie, are you excited to see the new, uh, who the new GM will be soon? Yes, I am, and I'm hope I haven't actually gotten that many entrants, and I'm hoping, like, we actually get quite a few people. It was clearly April, May. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the 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 booba is back. <laughs> okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Thanks, guys. I'm making mine patience. You have until uh, before stream Thursday. Just, if you guys could, just like... For those, for those who are watching, whether or not you're participating, try to like... I guess entice other other people in the, the bonfire be like, Hey, you should participate in the, 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 the tournament. I think I think a lot of people would have fun with that kind of thing. Just don't don't pressure them. Just kind of like gently nudge if that makes sense. Can I send them in a dot zip file? Mm, I don't know about that one. It joined the meme rail basically. But you you could say something like subliminal, like, man, I can't win to win this GM or something. And then I'll have, like, other people, like, enticed by it, I guess. Woo, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess it really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. No, I don't think it will. I mean, yeah. Oh. I don't think I'm going to win, but I think it will make you laugh. That's the entire point. And then chat will decide. Uh, chat and myself will decide on who. Uh... Yeah. Okay. 
October 18th to 16 p.m. Google Studios main gate. No one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look. She left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. The computer that runs the stereo security cameras. Huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. The main entrance to the studios. They probably have a police officer on patrol out there. What if I rig chat? No. Don't make me unmod you guys. So I can use only one of my three accounts. It'd be appreciated, yes. Hey, Nick. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck and paperwork after the commotion after today's trial. Final, I would never do. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm teasing you, bud. <laughs> I have consumed the chili. Ooh, that actually sounds really good. I could go for some chili. I also want to go to chili. <laughs> I also don't want to feel chilly, because it's, right now it's, actually it was positive four today, Celsius for, for the rest of the world. <laughs> this fixes no more. I had, uh, all it had in the, in it was a liquid thing, and most meat. You mean like the tomato sauce? I was, I fucking love chili. I make like the b best chili. It's like, oh, Dante, thank. Why does that name seem familiar? Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders. Dante Epona. Why does that seem familiar? Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope everybody had a good time and thank you so much for the raid. You're playing Rune Factory 4. I don't think I've played that one. Or played any of them, actually. I think I've heard of it, I think. But oh well. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the motion of today's trial. Oh, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh! Oh, that one hurt. Oh, fuck. I almost just... <sighs> Final for the GM tourney, do I have to make my own memes? You do not have to make them. Actually, you know what? I'll make an announcement now. For for clarity's sake. Remember, it's 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 based off of like you're gonna have to have multiple memes. Not to bad yourself. You you likely most know me though, Grim Cow, and I'm not a. Oh, okay, I see. Dante, 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 Dante. Oh, oh, hey, how's how's it going, man? Sorry, I just I recognized the username, but I just fuck it. Just yeah. Not too bad. Nice. Oh, I guess you already said that. <laughs> um, I, ho I hope things have been going well with you. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been kicking around Linagon for a while. I just... Uh... Oh, wait. I should have said Linagon. Yeah, no, I'm, I've, I, I've kind, of, like, kind of retired from that that park, so... I I'm, I might be moving on to also Linagon against... Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I'm just trying to, like... Of avoid like giving away my identity, you know. Uh, but I, I've I've retired from that, so I might I might move on to a different park, but we'll have to see how things go financially. I'm I'm not like retired retired completely, but yeah. I have to make memes for the gym tourney. Um, what else am I gonna say?
I left because of work and sticks. I think sticks is no longer uh, a part of the thing. Finals are retired, no hunter, and I know it. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, and and the thing I hunted bears. <laughs> All right. Oh, I accidentally clicked off. Remember that studio tour, the two that we heard about at the trial today? It was down at the path of the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. I vote troll hunter. Ha. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Sorry to raid and run, but have a great rest of your day and stream safe, safe. And you too, Dante. Take care, man. And th thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Studio 2 entrance. This is Studio 2. I thought so. It doesn't really look like much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. Looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Oh, it's bent. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Really? That's, that's all there is to it? Yes, Fino, if you want uh, Macau, so you'll have to travel for a whole day unless you take a new plane. I would love to go down south, man. I, I would love to visit, just to experience the cultures, experience the food, experience the, lo uh, the locations, just to see, you know? Vines always made me laugh more than memes. I mean, I th most of them have been saved on YouTube anyways, but yeah, I, I do miss Vines too. On a closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. <laughs> it would be a shame if some bleached ass sat there. <laughs> A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it would run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. <laughs> That'll get me anywhere. <laughs> Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. No, they, there wouldn't have there would have been bones there. Finally, you should travel down here to Florida so I can experience crazy people, or you can experience crazy people. I have to meet a daily. If I could, I would love to, but I've also been there before. <laughs> a T-bone steaks. <laughs> What's with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. There's a big two painted here. Probably because it's the studio too? Probably, though it doesn't look like anything is like the studio. Oh. Oh. Orlando, Miami, pres I presume? Uh, uh, fuck, was it Miami? I think it was just a little bit south of Miami, and then it was a road trip all the way up from Miami to uh, Jacksonville, then straight north to South Carolina, I want to say, because uh, my family loves going to a thing called Myrtle Beach. A town called Myrtle Beach, I mean. I can't remember where I went. This was this was fucking years ago. <laughs> An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Well, 
Florida is where my longest vacations have been, and I'm disappointed as I've never seen a Florida man do Florida man things. To be honest, to, I am too, but also it usually means danger for everybody else around them. There's really nothing here. Hmm. South of Miami is the ocean. <laughs> Oh, I think it was, I think it was coastal. So October eighteenth, Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else. Nick. They outlined where Jackhammer's body lay with tape. His body was still fine inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing to at least leave a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Can I get Penny here? Most of it's done. Yeah, don't, so don't touch it. Hey, smile, Nick. You're a star. Stop that. Is there, there's probably really nothing here. Tampa? Yeah, that might be it. I think that's what you're thinking. <laughs> the fucking... What? <laughs> you should have gone to Melbourne? I'd love to go to Australia. Am I missing something? Melbourne, Florida. Oh. <laughs> you know, I think I, I, if I would love to do like my own road trip if I was ever to go to like a TwitchCon or something. But I don't think I'd ever have like I'd, well, I'd love to have the fan base to be able to actually get like a meet and greet kind of thing. But I, I personally don't know if I'll have uh, I don't know if I'll ever be big enough. Uh, and I, 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 it's kind of I want to, I want to try it, just to see how it, how it feels like. But I don't know if like you know. Look, it's that sister girl. Hey. Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh ho ho ho. Don't mention. Is it true that they caught the security lady? Oh ho ho ho. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I. I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? R right. I just, lots of times I end up looking worse than I did before I fix them. Oh? Oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. I like her. I hope she didn't kill him. What did you want to try? Oh, well, like, I want to try doing a, uh, like a Twitch meet and greet. Like a TwitchCon or something. Or PAX. Or somewhere small. I don't know. Like, I, I just want to try it. Like, you know? Meet, meet, meet people all over the world who kind of like, who, who, who watch me. Like, I'm curious as to the people, like the people that find me entertaining. <laughs> as I, I don't, I don't mean it to be like an ego inflation thing. I just like legitimately want to do that. And you know what? I'd be the kind of streamer to like offer up hugs, as long as you know people are safe and sanitary about it. <laughs> Arson. Personally, I think she should have should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right. See you later then. Good luck with your investigation. I would do the same, but I would probably be VidCon since I will become a YouTube boy. <laughs> I, I haven't heard of VidCon in a long time. 
Penny more like six is found dead in his home last night. <laughs> I don't like hugs. No, I was I was just saying like if if you want like I just wanted to like meet people, you know, and I wanted to like offer up hugs for those who wanted hugs consensually. I want a final hug. Final, if you ever hug me, I'll cry like a little bitch. No, I, I wouldn't want that. At least at least warm me ahead of time so I can put on an absorbent shirt. You don't want you. Yeah. I'm gonna be probably wearing like a morph suit, like a green morph suit. So I don't want you to like get your face all sticky with uh, morph suit fabric. Because it's like pure polyester or some shit. Wafflera? What the hell is Wafflera? So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that drain. So it seems. I guess they covered up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, do you want to rip the gate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. I want to have a kung fu battle with final. At the Joke's on you. I'm shit in combat. <laughs> I'm 6'3", but I've never been in a fight. <laughs> Sphere man. <laughs> Rip it open. Well, I guess things, some things are made to be broken. Yeah, you know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> hi yeah. There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. Hmm. The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered, scattered around. Everyone is probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm. My extensions are gone. Find out I can try to do a judo throw. Can I try to do a judo throw? Uh, if there's padding, then I assume probably. I'm also close to two. I'm just a little bit over 270 pounds, but. I don't think I'm like straight up fat. I'm just a little bit chunky. Uh, one day I would love if I was to do like redo my model, I would love to add a little a little bit more of a stomach, you know? I don't I don't sometimes I look at it and I don't feel as comfortable with uh Yeah. Fun fact, I know how to break someone's wrist. Yes, you just run over it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really, really grim. October 18th, Global Studios dressing room. Fun fact, I already did. I cried chopped while I was in kindergarten in self-defense, I must add. How hard did they drop? This is what the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says, at least. I guess I snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But heck, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh? She's got a point. <laughs> yeah, I get you, man. I can choke hold a person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, you look like a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Apparently, if you, uh, if you don't get uh, taught choking in judo until you're over 14, 17. Interesting. They didn't because they, didn't they were sitting. I didn't mean to aim for the throat. <laughs> I love how, it, I love how you, you added the thing, and I didn't mean to. <laughs> you still did it anyways. Unicorns, more like judo corns. Am I right, guys? Up top. Sorry. Serious. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I, even, I haven't even cleaned up their place from the day of the murder. 
You know this place with steaks, steak bones left over in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? I just wanted to hit his stupid little face. Wow. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. I heard something at the trial today. They said the director and producer were here at the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's are a real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd sit still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? He is why I hate children other than the fact they're annoying, but that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just re I just rewound one of your old messages and uh right, hold on. Uh, for some reason, my my, my brain reread that as in in Uni's current age, he went to a kindergarten class and karate chopped the kid for no fucking reason. <laughs> Speaking of food, gotta be our beef for dinner. Okie dokie, you need to take care. Wait, are we talking about how we have harmed people? Yeah, I think so. Did I ever tell you I once got pushed into a pool and almost broke my back and drowned? Oh, that sounds horrifying. I almost got crushed by a semi-truck once. I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you do your story first. Oh, something's different. I would not try to chop a random kid. No. <laughs> I almost died. Poggers. <laughs> Same except almost. <laughs> oh, hold on. I just I just realized I missed, I think it's General's message. If we are, then I want it to be known that I once bit my best friend. And what was their reaction? <laughs> But how many times have y'all almost died? Several. It's several. This place is deserted. Crash. Eek. Nick, what was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh. It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's a probably one of the guards stationed at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Almost fell into a ditch twice. I drove into a ditch. <laughs> most have been most of mine have been ripped from riptides. <laughs> he did what any sane man would do and pushed me away. I had swine flu as a baby. Let's see, I've been crushed, or almost crushed, uh, almost splattered, almost, I've been hit by a car at least four times. Maybe, I think more than that. Like, actually hit by a car. Th thankfully, after the first time, my, my, my reaction, my reaction for how to get hit by a car definitely improved. <laughs> um... Guinness World Record. <laughs> I've driven into a ditch. I've almost fallen off a cliff. Uh, what? Oh well. Life, life has been funny. Okay, so the, after the first time I got hit by a car, which was stupid because it was a driver in a McDonald's parking lot. Uh, like every time after that. My my first reaction is to just give a small hop, so that if, if I if I if I go, at least I can either 
roll my shoulder into the windshield and not like get like whiplash or finally should just stay away from cars. Jokes on you, I have a driver's license. I have yet to actually hit another person's car though. <laughs> Falling off the cliff. Uh that one was an iffy one. Cause I was I was very close to sliding off when when, when my when I don't know if it was a teacher or somebody adult. I can't remember who it was now. It's, it's a very foggy memory. <laughs> Join me in the sewers. <laughs> I once got pulled over while I was in the car. I got pulled over while I was driving. <laughs> but that's just because of sticker shit on plates and whatnot. Uh, student gate. I'm right now at the studios. How do I get the key? Oh. Security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security camera. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key in that trailer. Maybe next time. Okay, so it's not urgent then. Where am I supposed to go? I claim the ocean and your bank account. <laughs> An employee area? No. I'm so confused on what on earth I'm supposed to be doing. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Oh, well, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Also, Valorant work on this computer? Oh. I've never actually played Valorant. I'm more of an Overwatch guy. To where fanboys sneak into the studios often. No, not that I know of. The security lady is pretty struck with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Don't have Xbox Gold, so can't play that either. Uh, I hate that, like... I hate that subscription services are a fucking thing. Like, I remember back in this, like, Dreamcast or PlayStation 2... Or if you were just able to connect to the internet, you would have access to shit. Unless you can play Fortnite? Ew. I play Shellshock, yeah. Was the director present at the morning run through? Yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate should move. Why don't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to be repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer. Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I... I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from this, are you? No, I sure hope not. Oh, that got me nowhere. Looks like a studio van. Uh, they probably use the carry on film equipment. Okay, so. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Studio mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. I've never seen a monkey with a nose like that before. Why do they put his head back on? Maybe we should ask that assistant. 
I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. I'm bushed. Maybe I'll sit down here for a bit. This is exactly why I don't want to get old, ever. Hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick, when you start having to say I'm still young, you know it's all over. You know? That makes a lot of sense. Shell shock, yeah! I'm, I'm dropping tilted. Nice. I <laughs> will tilt your spine. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh shit! Spix just gave Spix didn't just hurt Cheeto. Spix just gave Cheeto long-term damage. <laughs> but I am still young. This is a security camera that automatically takes pictures of people here. Took two pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. One of them was a steel samurai. The other was a grade school boy. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. Am I missing anything? What the fuck are these birds going on about? Oops. The trailer door. It's locked. The key's probably in the security guard station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. <laughs> Rip spot cord. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on error. Okay. Hey, look. That's the chair that did direction. Let's go back for stage. Okay, so there's fucking nothing in here. <laughs> Step ladder, I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Sphix away. It says welcome. They let people in here when they're not filming, right? Nick, let's come here and something. What do you say? Sure, if that security lady lets us in. Can I present anything? I'm not really sure what that is, sorry. So you work with props, right? About that murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So I'd have to be pretty strong to use it as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? I'm sorry, guys. I'm very lost right now. I got a four of six on Nerdle. Nice. I think. I've always wanted to try that, like, a s a cement. Cementer? Cemental or something like that? Moise played it the other day. The drink rate is off. And I know who did it. 
Other kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't make you feel great to do a good deed like that. Must be nice to live so free of guilt. Hmm. I am so fucking lost. Did you by any chance unlock the hole? Yes, I did. It's a half finished backdrop for a stage here. My brain is turned off and I am a time traveler. <laughs> It's a castle, probably in the old coast. Yeah, it's like one of those electric car bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? I don't fucking... I wonder into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Okay. I got 11 guesses on the globe... Global 80? Global BO? B0? What the hell am I reading? What the fuck? Who are you dudes? Lamau. Huh? We... Wait, you first. Who are you? <laughs> you look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. <laughs> How can you not know the great Salmonella? <laughs> I make it, I make it to elite shows. The Steel Samurai mine. Uh, RTFC, read the film credits. Oh, no. Really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry, I just, you look so... sorry. No, quite alright, really. It's, it's fine. Raffle. What is it? You know, on closer inspection... Give me a second. I hope this is the right one. Oh, I can't right click. Give me a second. Uh, sorry, this, this joke will be worth it, I promise. It's not the right one. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just seeing this. No worries. Give me a second. Fuck off, give me a second here. That's the best one we got. All right, so I got that. New image. Fix, remember how I had that one guy try to white knife her? What the hell? Okay, and now that I got this. <laughs> he 
look, it's you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh <laughs> One guy trying to buy me shit and, like, being weird. Well, you should have just, accept, I guess, accepted the gifts and said, oh, okay, yeah, I just, uh, I guess it's, yeah, never mind. I, 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 I get why you'd be, like, pensive about that kind of thing. Fine, I'll bite your fingers off. This is why I'm not allowed to have things. <laughs> you should do a lot of cosplay because that costume rocks horse. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> Roblox! <laughs> it's chat. Okay. Oh. All right. Joke's done. <laughs> oh my goodness! That, that, I'm so glad that was worth it. <laughs> Rock cock a boob X sixty nine. swords, What? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? Hmm. Lol, buffer overrun. Oh, this... I am so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> you triggered my creative powers! <laughs> I hate Sal so fucking much, and he's, he's in the worst character in the series. There's worse? Yes, it's coming... To he just switched off of Leet Speak, and it's... Oh, boy. <laughs> I give it the hydrate. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> Holy piss water. <laughs> Pink Princess. The sequel to the Steel Samurai. The Pink Princess, Warrior of Neil... Little, little Old Tokyo. Oh, fuck off. Ruffle the <laughs> He is Twitch chat. <laughs> Can I get some uh, Lamaos in chat <laughs> with 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 smiley faces? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Pink Princess. Why is it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Final will feature balls to the chat. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to give chat my caca. I said him with love. <laughs> no, I don't want. I, I don't. I don't want that. <laughs> day of the crime. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know. You dudes are. That security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. No questions asked. You have no choice. You eat or perish. <laughs> All right. No. 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 No forcing cock and and cock inhalation. <laughs> oh fuck it. Keep fucking right. I, I gotta. A T-bone steak was it? Yeah. Sucks worse. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck source mean? No idea. <laughs> Anyways, I was in a meeting from noon until after four. Are the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer Teth, Temmer's time of death was estimated 2.30 p.m. Some of the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. I perish by choice. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Cheeto. About the producer who was who was at the meeting with you. Oh, I mean, D. Vasquez. She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her day on the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. 
were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Sounds like they'd all be reliable with all be reliable witnesses. Okay, now I'm gonna get away from this guy. Aha! You again! Eek! <laughs> How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare samurai, a steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on, can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this whippersnapper, this old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me, my lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot with someone with sealed lips. Nice, Maya. Petition to have Old Bay castrate Salmonella. That actually would be pretty interesting to watch. Not gonna lie. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. This lady's too much. The fanboy. I'm about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. About the director who is here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. Uh, okay, so... Can I come in here now? It's a good station. I can see the computer that wants to see the cameras. Hey, no touching. Guess I'd better investigate there later. <laughs> Why is that a petition? Because pain. Because we arrest Sal. Please, please, I want him gone. Maybe? Oh! I was actually going to ask Sal something. Or check out the room that Sal was in. Fortunately, being creepy isn't a crime. Yes, but stalking is. And he looks like he'd be a stalker type. Hey. Hey, wait. I bet he came for that drain. Hey, um, kitty -o, What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Oh, but you are a kid. What a rude little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. Uh, I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. I don't like this kid. I want to punch him. I, I will yeet a toddler. <laughs> oh, I think that's right. Right. Then me biting his balls off should be self-defense. No, Sphix, you don't want... You, you don't want to do that. Please, no. <laughs> he looks like he plays League 24-7. This kid or Sal? <laughs> stalking isn't crime, but if he doesn't stalk people, he's not, yeah. Punch the child, eat the child. Are we karate chopping kids again? Let's, yeah, we are. Let's, let's go! Kid punching! I, uh, I promise, Twitch. Pappy Bezos, I am a good boy. I do not condone the punching of toddlers. Yeah, Sal does look like he plays League. This uh, this kid looks like he plays League 2, but is so trash at it. Like, he's he's Wood 2. <laughs> Let's see no adults here. Only fishy, ha hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. The kid looks like... Okay, the kid does look like he plays Fortnite. The kid, the kid is Wood 1. <laughs> Daddy Bezos, I'm a good boy. <laughs> Le League does stink, yeah. I'm Cody, Cody Hackens. Call me Kiddio again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. If you can get the sword out. Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean, we're on the Steel Samurai side? Ha, ha, ha. You can't fool me. Okay, then what's the line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha, easy. Like some fries with that. Hmm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it. What are they doing? 
Sensei, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He, he... He always, the Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw them, I saw everything. What? But no way am I telling you losers. What, wait? Let me go. He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped it into it, into it on his way out. A bottle. Why was it sitting here, I wonder? Bottom table in the sleep employee area. The label reads sleeping pills. Well, Okay, so Will was drugged. Give me the drugs. <laughs> and what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Quickly, old bitch. I mean, old bag. I mean, old bitch. I mean... Fuck you. There's a kid there. Go chase him. <laughs> huh? Where's that old windbag? I ought for her to leave her post. Hey. Nick, that was her. Kaka and chat are stinky. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch. Uh-oh, she tripped. <laughs> Maya sure looks happy. Now I can steal things, right? Hey, hey, Nick, now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. I shower today, I'm good. <laughs> we'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Trailer key slipped into pocket. <laughs> All right, uh, go back and move to the studio. Final six, f fuck. I did play Gorilla Tag with no deodorant today, so I prob. I've heard that game. I uh, there's like there's a guy on watch I watch on YouTube called James Ski. And apparently he oh, he's broken his hand several times playing Gorilla Tag. I wonder if the key we bore from the guard station will work. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. Seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. Well, he should set up a better guardian? What do you mean, a guardian? I see a caca <laughs> on the whiteboard. I used to hit one specific corner all the time that I edited my boundary. I think you edited as well, but I don't know. I think he may have hit his desk or something. Oculus, he set up VR walls to tell you where the real wires are. Oh, okay. Eek! Someone's in here. Names. Our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and um, I see. And who might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. Interesting. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. Not, not really. I don't, I don't find her attractive at all. The day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? 
I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Final meme song is banned to do MCA risk. It depends on how heavily they're modified. If they're heavily modified, no. Usually not. I'm too gay for this. <laughs> We'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vesquez? It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Next, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Salmonella, was it? What are what exactly is his role in here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Rick Roll and Coffin Dance? Rick Roll unfortunately is. I don't know if Coffin Dance is. Vasquez is smoking or something, I don't know. <laughs> I can't I wouldn't say smoking hot. Ha <laughs> ha I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. Isn't there some place we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right. We'll give it to him and see if we if we see him. The memo reads bring me the script for episode 13. Okay, I guess we're going to the there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Look, the Queen of England is here. <laughs> Smoking the souls of dead children. <laughs> here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13. Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh-oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. Nick? It might be quicker just looking at all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Oh wait, I think I know where it is. The Queen of England eats the souls of living children, how dare you slander her. I fear fear. <laughs> fear is a scary game. It was probably the probably the first one I ever shot my pants in. Metaphorically, of course. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to whatever. The director. Maya. Take a look around in that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the doctor, the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. The script placed in pocket. Oh, yeah, the other day, I jumped and took a plane to Canada. How was the ride? Most scuffed flight ever. Who? You want? You want to talk about why it was scuffed, or just you don't remember the de details like that? Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Script handed to D. Vesquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just your hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyways? And, and do you know who, who you... 
And do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers? Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You want to know about the day of the murder? Uh oh. Spunky music. It was absolute nonsense. Did it find T-Rex the plane? Because that happens every time in my dreams. I just hopped on the plane while it was started moving like it was a fucking bus. And it was inside the waiting room where they had shelves with snacks. Also, no documents. Still made it to Canada. Hell yeah! It's really an Ace Attorney game. Phoenix Wright isn't sent. You boasted that earlier, Rose. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. Here's a little lesson in trickery. This will go to down in history. Sorry. If you want to be it. No, sorry. <laughs> I hope I post something similar. I posted something similar, but not the same. Uh, Rose has Alzheimer's. None of the people in this trailer that, that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh right, that. What an original name. On the... On the Do y'all want to hear about the three epic T-Rex dreams that scared me as a child? I mean, sure. If you're up for talking about it. Anyways, oh, hello, hey Gumbo, how's it going? They didn't start moving the head until out of the way until after three. It was after it was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capish? Everyone was everyone in the trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at two thirty. Thus none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. Crane came after just three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they corroborate my story. But wait, what if the head fell after 2.30? That you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. The time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it was unbroken, announce the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey after all. What a fucking thing, weird thing to have in a studio. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. Huh. Uh, I hate ooks. <laughs> 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See, goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over, we're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Okay. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. A little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Ah, yeah. Stay sex machina. It's the booba. <laughs> I mean, Mia. <laughs> The head fell down. Like, man, you can't just... Yeah, I, I hate it when it's just like, they try to use that as, like, a story point uh, sigh. 
Uh, the, the fucking pisses me off. <laughs> now for my final, final, super last final acquisition, it was a monkey. The monkey squashed hammer. It was an accident all along. <laughs> I, I I hate plot holes like that. Like it's it's so damn obvious. Sorry, Phoenix. Maya's trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But what? no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. The boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks, now I'm more worried than I was before. I'm surprised y'all didn't find out that sooner. Like, old bigs, uh, the kid could have done it. Or them conveniently, yeah. This part, uh oh. It's clearly the monkey. My computer died while I was typing Dinosaur Dreams, but I'm back. Nice. There's, there's so many plot holes, it's, it's a little bit ridiculous, but I hope things get a little bit better uh, throughout. I wish there was a way, like, when you pre like, my, my one beef about this game is that I wish when you pressed, like, pressed somebody in the, like, the, the cross-examinations, you could choose what you would ask. I think it would add, like, a little bit more depth to the conversations, make you actually think about things. But the fact that you just press and it tells you, like, does a completely different question than, like, what somebody would, like, what I would ask bothers me. I'm not doing that. What's wrong? <laughs> Whippersnapper. She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When I when I catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now, Whippersnapper. A uh, hostage? What happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll I'll lay him flat. My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I'm with the director just now. Ah, ha. My heart, I don't feel so good. Oh no, she's gonna die. Good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <laughs> L for old fuck. <laughs> when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back. For this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Old Bag, might I? No! I'm catching that breath if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade, hmm? I wonder. Uh, I'll give her sleeping pills! <laughs> if she can't die yet, she won't be able to dis out Strix strict justice that way <laughs> yeah hat what <laughs> yeah hat what I'm, I'm sorry that just it just sounds funny to me um Trilicky? miss old bag I'm borrowing this just so you know oh okay just be sure to give it back She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Oh, she wanted to go to the studio. Hey, that. That's a card. Studio one? Right, a card key to studio one. I could visit poor Hammer. 
I'd like to visit. He he died. Woo. <laughs> I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbank. Studio One isn't my turf. You let me borrow borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. I think I'm done there. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? Uh, Lurk Slavery? Okie doke. Take care. I was in Walmart with my mother when a giant T-Rex appears. As everyone is running, I jump into a hole to tie my shoe because... Dream logic. When I get eaten, now I get sag. When I, when I become a part of the military group and we are retreating to the roof, I start to run up the stairs. And against my will, I go down said stairs. The T-Rex sees me and I go up the stairs. And down, T-Rex starts moving up and down again. It's sprinting up and down stair one last time as I'm once I get eaten. How many times did you go up and down the stairs? I'm sorry that was frustrating for you. Car key lent to Miss Old Bike. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this, and we're even. Deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. I don't know, but I died it to death. <laughs> it's a good thing you're alive, then. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Oh, fuck my ass. Okay. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Hey. Hey, wait a second. Phoenix? Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think you ran into the dressing room. Next to your extreme story soon. Okie doke. Found you. Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she... She ghost possessed him back. <laughs> she used the power of ghost. Hi there, my. Would you mind helping us out, please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fey. Nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb. Ha! What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't like yell. Don't yell like that, I'm only a kid. The kid's gonna get fucking dropped. I swear to, swear to all that is good in this world. So do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? And to show you know how I solved this case, don't fuck with Mr. I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> Cody, this looks familiar. Hey, my you are. You are? Huh? You are, you know? Ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Oh, the me, the me was okay. Don't fuck with me with the power. Okay, that makes that, that makes a lot more sense. I was trying to say, 
Do not fuck with Mister? What the f what does that what does that mean? <laughs> what do teach the kids in these school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it, it's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'm gonna slap this kid. That's a law of equivalent exchange, yeah. Premium rare, but I feel like we're talking about stakes. Is this guy a Pokemon player? He talks like a. He does talk kind of like a Pokemon player. Or at least a TCG. Actually, no, you know, he talks more like a Yu Gi Oh player. That, that I could see better. Maybe Will Powers would have one? I guess Mr. Powers isn't questioning. Oh well. Let's try again another day, Phoenix. Well, that, that, that text was just different. Nameless flowers bloom in solitude. They probably have a proper name, but it's not for me to know. Not now, nor ever to the end of my days. I need a vacation. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The young girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay. Whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around with that boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. All the posters on the wall of, uh, here of Hammer. Yes. It's, it's a, really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, give me a second, I'll do... Th in this dark story, I'm, a, I'm in a weird bumper car area where I stand in line and I'm given... Assault rifles and we are forced to battle the same T-Rex as the Walmart. Everyone dies next to the same area we fight a Yeti. No, in this bumper car room, there's a tree, but it's it's around where the... Sorry, hold on. You, you text again, I just kind of shuffled, shuffled my... As the same reason, we, in the bumper car room, there's a tree. It is, it's around where the T-Rex is out as it murders everyone else but me. As I try to hide by the tree, it begins to bite, try to bite past the tree in fear. I tap its nose, causing it to run in pain. Because dream logic and word limits. <laughs> yeah, just dreams have like a text limit. You can only, it can only go so far before you have to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> I finish the T. I finish the T Rex and hide behind the tree. Then again, the Eddie rips down the tree, shoots his face, and survive. Well, I'm glad you went on that one. What happened? Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh oh, why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? 
Do you know anything about this? Hey, it's still Samurai Train Card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, set up one of each card. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. That's it, that's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you think uh, I am, I need that card. Please, I beg you, trade with me. I'm having a virtual learning day tomorrow, so that's fun. Totally not having a blizzard tonight. Are you talking about an ice cream blizzard or a snow blizzard? Trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me out, huh? Yes, it's a good deal. F a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about? Trade. Okay. Really? Thanks. This is for you. Yahoo! <laughs> and there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So now that I've done this, I can actually go to... I wish it was an easy way to travel. See this card? Yeah, so, wait, that's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Back and made myself some tea? Hell yeah. I should actually make myself some tea soon. I don't know where I bought all my tea bags, though. I can, I'll make myself some hot chocolate. That sounds like a lot better idea. I've been unstuck on a bus for three hours because of a blizzard before. Oof. I got more story involving a T-Rex, but this time it's in Dominus from Jurassic World. I don't know what, I don't, I don't think I've seen uh, Jurassic World. Hell yeah, yeah. Right, okay. How about trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boots. No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Ah, huh, you sure? Fine by me. European card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Now we can actually get this little shit to talk. So you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to judge... You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a great schooler. <laughs> You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me? Yeah, uh, I love the Steel Samurai. What's your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is? Hmm. Alphernick, yeah. His kind nature. Right, come on, think of something. I really like his kind nature. What a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's a gentle as kitten. Yeah. So what do you like to, to like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. So what's your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is? Willpower's acting. Well, I've never even seen a full episode of that dumb show. Actually, I'm kind of a fan of Willpower's. Oh, that's totally hardcore. You're calling me hardcore? So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to get fucking. Get fucking. His fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, Wazam. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out, it's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. When in doubt when you don't know shit about someone, just say the, like, the actor. <laughs> I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam. I got them all, I never missed one. Perfect collection. 
Check it out, my new digital camera. Oh, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to Glory. Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Why does he keep repeating that? Wait, I don't know shit about myself, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I know too much. That's the problem, yeah. This guy totally plays Yu-Gi-Oh. I told you. It's not a Pokemon player, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Hold on a second. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, in this stream, I have a I'm having a birthday, and we are in my room now. My room was in a trailer home at the end of the house. Look at my door down the hallway and see Mr. Rex. Close the door slowly as people from my probably slowly leave the room, presumed murder. And after all, the guests have been eaten. Here, coming down the hallway, I hide under the bed because dream logic. As I I watch as Mr. Rex walks into the room, places its nose down, and breathes heavily before it slips. Flips the bed and murders me. Ooh. Also, thank you for that. My joint buzzer check. This kid is totally the annoying little kid in those VCs of video games. Oh, I know exactly what the fuck you're talking about. All the T Rex dreams now? Well, hopefully, you don't have too many more. At least, if you are going to have them, at least have pleasant ones. I hope so, at least. I don't go make some hot cocoa. I will after stream. Fuck, I'm out of juice. Agua or whatever the fuck, liquid. Oh, Elohim just came running out of nowhere. You gotta scratch the kitty, scratch the kitty. Scratch the puss. Puss scratch! Puss scratch! Okay, he's licking me. I have really, really considering setting up an Elohim cam. We'll have to see though. Oh, and he's wandering away. As Kitty often do. Tell him I love him and I missed him. He, he, un he unfortunately wandered away. I wish I could, though. Yeah, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. I was murdered by the Lich King after being betrayed by my mother in a dream before. Yikes. I'm sorry, Sphix. My nana has a cat, but she seems to have fleas because I have bug bites all over me. Ugh. Hopefully she uh, gets that cat checked, or at least cleaned. Those are people always giving stuff to me. What a life. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I I saw I saw everything. Well well, we might get some useful information out of him not yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 p.m. I had to come into the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I wasn't here for maybe half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the, to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? <coughs> the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. <coughs> Use the Samurai Spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see, it must have been hard for you. 
Man, you say those nice things, but so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right, Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means that Sam, Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed, so the only person left who could have been his Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put his boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave, leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. Oh, no, gumshoe. Oh, but why'd you have to betray us? Then this boy here is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down to the precinct. No, I ain't going. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, mm, I really need to be going. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? <laughs> the kid has a fucking katana. I want a weapon. I want... One of, my, one of my favorite weapons that I really enjoy is the, uh... Uh... Mace. Or, like, yeah. Like a, a, a spike... A morning star or whatever. I always enjoy weapons like that. I, th I think he's innocent. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Alright, so we're going to get Deus Hexed again. Great. Thanks, Mia. Give me the ghost goo. See you soon. I'm writing that down for future fat art reference. Ooh. Actually, kind of look forward to that. Final why? Because I can. <laughs> um, how long have we been streaming for? Two and a half hours. I think I'll call it quits. My mom just went to bed. I don't. And she says I'm not allowed to out tonight, and I don't want to keep her up because she's got her at work early in the morning. So let's find somebody to raid. Up, up, uh, let's figure out who to raid. All right, we have Pipetron, Avery, Schematics. What is Schematics doing? Oh, he's doing uh, programming. My guys, my mom was sleeping. Okay, no, it's it's more out of respect, Gumbo. Also, thank you for dropping the links to Discord and the YouTube. Feel free to 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 join in the community or to to subscribe to the vods. All is good. Um, as as a note for the YouTube vods, uh, if you ever were just watching a vod, either drop it a like or comment on it. I think it we can futz with the YouTube algorithm a bit and see if we can grow this community a little bit more. I want ske. Okay, okay. I don't know how often you've rated Avery last week. I've rated him two or three times, I think. I do kind of want to try rating Avery, but I don't want. Uh, you know what? I'll just raid Ska, and we'll next time we'll raid Avery. Uh, just so that we can. Uh, I assume commenting Kaka does not help. <laughs> um, a last time yesterday I rated Avery and it crashed his stream, so I don't want to like do that to him. You know. Oh, now I have an Elohim on me. Hello, Elohim. Sphix says he misses you. Do what you want. Uh, schematics. Let's write schematics.
about Avery's stream. What? Oh, I gotta bring Happy Boy on me. Hashtag blame. It's not blame final. You got. It's not. That's no. Whatever. The raid message. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I got one. There you go. That's going to be the red message. Gumbo was the one who said blame final initially. The The joke stems back actually almost almost a year ago now. Uh, uh, when when I, I, I did something and Avery commented hashtag uh, finals fault. And everybody in Sky commented finals fault. And so that just became the running joke in our little circle for the longest time. Anyways, now you guys know. I hope you guys, I hope everyone takes care and have a good night. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're doing, but uh, I hope we have fun. Anyways, take care, guys.